Ideal conditions are no rain, a reasonable cloud base so that we can go fairly high without, because we're not allowed to fly in cloud because of uh, various air laws. The air stable, that's a very important thing, and wind speeds on the surface of less than 10 miles an hour and at um, 500 feet and above less than 15 to 20 miles per hour. Balloons can only fly when the air is stable. We cannot fly when it's thermic. So consequently, we can only fly first thing in the day and last thing in the day during daylight hours. During the period roughly three hours after sunrise until about two hours before sunset, the heat of the sun is kicking such varying thermal activities depending on the surface that they're rising from that the air is very unstable and the last thing the balloon wants is unstable air. We get our forecasts from a variety of sources. They're all Met Office associated one way or another. We have the Talk to a Forecaster service where we subscribe. We also um, have a lot of raw data download of information. And because to become a commercial balloon pilot, you have to have done quite intensive Met training, we have a certain amount of ability ourselves to interpret that raw data. We also use all the usual aviation stuff, 214, 215, the, the specific ballooning forecast, the, the four times a day updated spot winds, uh, the mesoscale in order to give us uh, cloud and precipitation forecasts uh, up to 36 hours ahead. Um, so it's a variety of things that you pull together. Um, and then at the end of the day, the pilot that's doing that flight makes his or her personal decision as to whether to call the pre-flight meeting on or not based on you know those various sources.